Hello all, welcome to my channel. In case you are watching for the first time, this is a channel on engineering studies focusing more on electrical and electronics engineering. Please check the description link for more videos. Also, please like, share and subscribe. Do click on the bell icon to get notified as I upload new video on every day. I also have another channel related to competitive examination preparations. Please support it by sharing with your friends. You can find the description box in the description box. I am welcoming everyone in the playlist of power electronics. In the previous video, I have explained the switching characteristics of power MOSFET. In this video, I will be discussing the switching characteristics of power MOSFET. In the previous session, I have discussed about the static characteristics. Okay, today we are going to discuss about the switching characteristics of power MOSFET. First, let me ask one question to you. What is the difference between uh, switching characteristics and static characteristics? Okay, you have to identify the answer. Switching characteristics versus static characteristics. Can you able to identify the answers? Yes, we can able to identify few answers. I'll be telling you the difference between switching and the static characteristics. In case of switching characteristics, we need to consider the gate drive impedance. And also the internal capacitance also has to be considered in case of switching characteristics. If I talk about the static characteristics, we are not at all bothering about the internal capacitance. You know that in MOSFET, there is a gate capacitance that we are not considering in case of static characteristics. And also we are not bothering about the internal impedance of gate driver circuit in case of static characteristics. While switching characteristics, in case of switching characteristics, we need to consider both the parameters. So let us explain the switching characteristics of stat the standard power MOSFET. Okay, you can you know what is power MOSFET. You can able to see the previous video of my power MOSFET. I have explained in detail. So let us discuss about the switching characteristics. You know that the MOSFET is a power MOSFET is a control device. So you have to provide the gating pulse. You can able to see the first wave of the gating voltage versus time. So we need to provide the definite uh, gate voltage that is must without gate voltage or gating pulse switch uh, most of switch never be turned on okay and you can able to see another two characteristics this is the number first characteristic the second characteristic is actually the gate source voltage versus time vgs vgs stand for gate source voltage the, the third one is actually representing the drain current the current which will be passing from uh, the drain terminal to source terminal Okay, as the VGS reached its threshold value, or we can call it a saturated value. Now let us explain the switching characteristics. First in the foremost, you have to apply the gating pulse. This is actually the gating pulse. You can able to see the gating pulse. It is must because MOSFET is a controlled device. So gating pulse is very essential to turn on the MOSFET. How to turn off the MOSFET? Actually you have to apply the gate impulse to zero or negative gate impulse you have to apply. That is a turn off method, turn on method and turn off method. Uh, in switching characteristics, we are majorly focusing on the turn on and the turn off characteristics. So turn on, you can note down, turn on characteristics and turn off characteristics need to be familiar uh, separately. So these are the major segment of switching characteristics. Number one, you have to consider the turn on characteristics and the second part is turn off characteristics. First, I am going to explain about the turn on characteristics. How to how do you turn on MOSFET? You have to realize what are the time associated with the, the turn on process. Okay, let me explain that. First of all, you have to apply the gating pulse, number one. Number two, you need to increase the gate source voltage very slowly. Everybody, please look at VGS. VGS stands for gate source voltage. So starting from zero, you need to increase the gate source voltage. Initially, what is observation you made? As I increase gate source voltage very slowly, there is no growth of currency. So current will be remaining same only. Current remains zero. Okay, at that time, uh, the power MOSFET remains under off condition itself. It is not turning on. Remember that. Because as I increase the gate source voltage, so I am slowly increasing the gate source voltage till uh, VGST. I am going to increase the gate source voltage up to the threshold value of gate source voltage till that particular time till that particular time i cannot be able to see the mosfet is turn on because no drain current is passing from drain current to source terminal okay so that mosfet remains 
uh, of condition the time this particular time is associated with the tdn okay turn on delay time you can mention it as tdn turn on delay time now at a particular point when i reached to vgst uh, once it is crossing uh, this particular voltage vgst you can able to see that current is slowly rising i have marked over there see as i increase the voltage vgs after vgst see voltage is also rising in parallel you can able to see the growth of current and uh, the current will be still uh, keep on keep on increasing uh, up to vgsp okay up to this point vg vgsp okay so we can able to say that at this particular point vgsp okay the mosfet the mosfet will be uh, completely turn on it is going to turn on when I, when it reaches to vgsp okay so that particular time the time period in between uh, this particular vgst and vgsp you can able to see that is called the rise time you can see the rise time tr okay so afterwards the particular mosfet that will be remain in on state because current started flowing between the drain and source okay therefore we can say that mosfet is under on condition so what is the total the time which is associated with the turn on process we can able to write in the turn on process it is merely visible that the total time is equal to i'll be writing t on so t on is equal to the sum of a tdn sum of tdn plus a tr you can call it as equation number one afterwards we can say that uh, your mosfet which is under on condition so same thing i have explained in the coming slide so i request you to go through that particular point step by step by step procedure i have explained so if you go through that particular point it will, i am sure that you can able to write in your examination and you can present somewhere else it is very very easy okay so now please look at this see the turn on process i have explained step number one the mosfet can be turned on by providing the positive gate pulse it is very clear number one when the gate voltage is applied gate source capacitance vgs starts starting okay so if you apply vgs what is going to happen the capacitance that is getting charged uh, when the voltage across vgs reaches its certain level called threshold voltage vgs means a threshold voltage the drain current id starts rising okay that is also very clearly visible then uh, the time required to charge vgs to the threshold voltage level is known as turn on delay time see i have explained what is tdn tdn means turn on delay time the cgs charges from the threshold voltage to full gate voltage vgsp vgsp means full gate voltage gate source voltage the time required for this charging is called a rise time which i already mentioned that uh, tr uh, during this period the drain current rises its full value uh, that is id thus the mosfet is fully turned on after vgsp will sure that we can make sure that the capacitors got completely charged and uh, what we can say is the mosfet is started conducting the total time period turn on time period is equal to T td on plus tr the turn on time can be reduced by using low impedance gate drive source how do you reduce the turn on time one of the important viva question we can say that you need to reduce the gate driver resistance gate drive impedance need to be reduced so that you can able to uh, reduce we can able to uh, reduce the turn on time so this these are the process which are associated with the turn on time now let us inspect when the, the mosfet will turn off so let us look at the turn off uh, process of particular mosfet you please concentrate in this region okay that is actually the turn off process as I already told you that capacitor of that particular gate area that is getting charged completely. Now capacitor need to be discharged. First in the foremost, what you are supposed to do, the thing is you have to apply the gating pulse. VG should be zero or VG must be negative. Negative, negative gating pulse need to be applied. Okay, that is very important, negative. Two options are there. Either, uh, either you can go ahead with the VG to zero or VG to negative, it is up to you. First in the foremost, you know that uh, MOSFET is still in on condition. You need to apply the VG to zero or negative. At that time, you can able to say that the, there is a voltage drop. See, voltage drop will be taken place. Okay, but 
uh, ID, still the current will be uh, passing because of the capacitance, you know, the effect of capacitance. You must have studied in network analysis. It never be the response. It takes little bit of time to uh, discharge. Okay, there is, there is a delay. Always there will be a delay. So we can able to say that still that particular MOSFET is under on condition only, even though, even though you have reduced the VGS to zero or VGS to negative. So that particular time is called as a uh, turn of delay time. It is represented as TDM. Please note on this. Uh, then once you reached the VGS level to VGSP, VGSP, afterwards you can able to have a drastic change. What is the change you can observe the so it is very clear once it is crosses once it crosses to vgsp so discharging crosses to vgsp you can able to see that uh, uh, the id drain current start drooping of t parallelly you can see the uh, when the voltage when the vgsp start drooping in parallel id is also start reducing whenever the vgsp reaches to vgst whenever vgsp reaches to vgst we can say that the MOSFET is under completely off. That particular time that is called a TF, fall of time. Okay, fall of time. So, therefore, the total uh, turn of time that is uh, T of, we can write T of, T of can be written as the sum of uh, delay time, TDF, TDF plus TF, fall time. So, these are the process which are associated with the uh, turn of process. So afterwards, we can say that capacitance got completely, the gate capacitance got completely discharged. As a result, the MOSFET is getting turned off. So I have written the same steps in a sequential fashion so that you can make use of your examination or any type of viva was. Time being, you can understand the concept in this manner. Okay, so I'll be showing you what are the things we have written over there. See, turn off process. To turn off the MOSFET, gate voltage made to be negative or zero. That is true. Yes. Later, we can say that due to this gate source voltage then reduces V1 to VGSP. See, V1 to VGSP. Gate source voltage need to be reduced from v V1 to VGSP. At that particular point, we can say that the MOSFET is under still, it will be continuing in the on state only. It never be uh, turned off immediately. That effect you can understand. So that time period is called a TDF. Uh, that, that is VGS discharges from the gate voltage V1 to VGSP. The time required for the discharge is called turn off delay time. I, I have mentioned already TDF. During this period, drain current also starts reducing, but still MOSFET is under power MOSFET is under on condition. The CGS keeps on discharging and its voltage become equal to threshold voltage. Okay, uh, that is uh, very clearly mentioned. So from VGSP, it has to be reached to VGSP. At that time, what is going to happen? The CGS charges from the threshold voltage to full. Uh, we can say that during this period, drain current also start reducing. The CGS keeps on discharging and its voltage become equal to threshold voltage, VGST. The time required to discharge from CGS from VGSP to VGST, that is called the fall of time. So this is actually TF is representing the fall of time that I have written very clearly. Now, when do you say that MOSFET is completely off? That means the drain current becomes zero when VGS less than VGST, the MOSFET is then to be turned off. So during turn off condition, voltage is maximum, current is zero. During turn on condition, current is high, voltage is zero. Okay, that is actually the uh, condition. Thus, the total turn off time of MOSFET is written as TD of plus TF. So it is very clearly TD of TD of plus TF. That is the total turn off time. Where total turn off time is equal to TD TDN or TD plus T TR. Okay, these are the turn on time and turn off time. Whenever I ask the question about, whenever you are getting a question about, explain the the switching characteristics of power MOSFET. You have to draw the diagram very clearly, and also you have to mention the parameters. And uh, it's a control device. We need to apply uh, the gating pulse, positive gating pulse to turn on the MOSFET. And you can explain the turn on process associated with uh, uh, what I explained a bit early. And uh, how to turn off the MOSFET that you have to, uh, you have to explain. VG should be zero, either zero or you have to apply negative pulse. There, and at that time, you have to mention each and every time period. That is very, very essential. So these are the turn on and turn off process associated with the power MOSFET. In the coming session, I am going to discuss about uh, the insulated gate bipolar transistor and the peculiarities of IGBT. If you are having any queries in the particular session on uh, the switching characteristics of our MOSFET, you can put up in the comment box. Definitely, I will revert. Finally, thank you for watching this video.